Today's video is all about practice aids. I'm going to show you my top 5 favorite practice aids that have made the biggest impact on improving my golf game and can help your game as well. Most of these can be used for more drills than I will show you in this video and I will have all products mentioned or similar dupes linked in the description down below. These are ranked 1 to 5 with my absolute favorite training aid discussed at the end of this video. It's a great one, you'll want to stick around. Anyway, these are my top 5 favorite practice aids and how I use them. Number 5 is a towel. You can use any type of towel for this, but I use my golf towel because it's already on my bag. If you google golf towel drill, many different drills will come up, but I like to use my towel as a landing spot for pitches and longer chips. What I do is I lay the towel on the green in the ideal landing area and attempt to land the ball on the towel. This will build consistency and help you learn the spin, roll, and bounces different types of shots will produce. As you change hitting areas, clubs, or types of shots, you may need to adjust the towel so the ball will hit the appropriate landing area. PVC caps are my fourth favorite practice aid that I feel like have made a big impact on my game. There are many different drills you can use these for, but I mainly use them for swing path work. Now I recommend working with a PGA professional before jumping in and trying to change your swing. However, if you're experienced enough to know if your swing path is off, this could be a great tool for you. These caps are super light and easy to toss in your bag, come in different sizes, and are super affordable. I think I paid less than 40 cents a piece for these from Home Depot, and as I showed you in the previous clip, I have both a large and a small size. I mainly use these when I notice my swing path needs work. Many people will use a cardboard box for this type of drill, but these PVC caps are not only less bulky, but won't blow away if you're practicing on a breezy day. So here's how I use these. If I realize I'm taking the club too far inside at takeaway, I'll place a cap inside the intended swing path. The same thing can be done if you're struggling with taking it back too far outside, you'll just put the cap on the outside of the swing path. These work because they trick your brain to adjust to avoid hitting the cap, even if that's not even physically possible. Number three is alignment rods. I was once told you should never practice without working on your alignment, which is why this practice aid made my top three. Alignment rods are one of the most used and classic training aids. They can be stored in a golf bag at all times, they won't count as a club in your bag, and can be used in many different practice areas. I primarily use mine on the driving range. Actually, anytime I'm on the range, regardless if it's warming up before playing or working on my swing, I always have my alignment rods down. They not only ensure that you're hitting the ball in the right direction, but they can help you address the ball with a consistent setup. Alignment rods are not only beneficial for learning to line up correctly, but they can ensure a proper turn away from or through the ball. Many amateurs struggle with swaying rather than turning during the backswing. An alignment rod can be placed in the ground behind the right hip, and if the player's body touches it when moving away from the ball, they'll immediately know they moved their body incorrectly. The same thing can be done for the follow through. While there's a little learning curve when using alignment rods this way, they're a good solution that provides instant feedback. Alignment rods are also great for the putting green. Now I'm gonna be talking about another putting training aid here shortly, but if you want a quick hassle-free way to work on your stroke, you can always throw these down. 
They're also great to have indoors and can be perfect for the winter months or rainy days. My second favorite practice aid is a shag bag. This is a timeless tool that every golfer needs. Essentially, a shag bag is a bag with a zipper that holds golf balls and has a retriever on one end. You can dump out practice balls and then easily pick them up after completing a drill. There are many benefits to using a shag bag, especially considering you'll be practicing with the same type of golf balls you play with on the course. You also don't have to worry about carrying a bunch of extra balls in your bag or use range balls for practice sessions or drills that require a lot of feel. They can easily be stored in your trunk or garage and also used for multiple shots. I've been using a shag bag consistently since I played junior golf, and if there's one practice aid you buy out of all that are mentioned in this video, a shag bag is the one I'd recommend. <music> Lastly, my very most favorite practice aid of all time is a chalk line. I started using one the summer before my senior season of college golf and it single-handedly made the biggest impact on my game. Within the first few months of using this on a regular basis, I saw a dramatic decrease in my putts per round. Interestingly, this is a unique training aid that I don't see many people use. Even in college, I never saw anyone laying a chalk line despite the number of benefits it has brought to my game. A chalk line can train you to see the line on the course, helps create a consistent stroke, requires you to continually practice your setup, gives you confidence with longer putts, and is an opportunity to put competitive pressure on yourself. Here's how to set it up. First off, check with your course to make sure it's okay to use chalk on the putting green. It washes off easily, but some courses may have policies against it. Pick a hole that is fairly flat and straight by putting or tossing a few balls. It's really important you find a straight hole. Next, you'll use a tee to secure the line behind the hole. Slowly release the line. You will see some of the chalk dust off with the string as you start to let it out. I usually go back about 15 feet, but you can go back as far as you'd like. Just make sure there are no breaks in the putt. Next, you'll pull the string taut and snap the line against the ground. If it's super windy or you don't have enough chalk, you may have to do this a few times. There are many different drills you can do using a chalk line. I saw the biggest impact on my game when I would start about one foot away and putt three balls in the hole in a row. Continue down the line every foot or so. If you miss a putt, you must start all the way over at the beginning. So you can see how that would add pressure, especially if you've been working on this for a long time. So basically for $10 and a trip to the hardware store, you can see a dramatic improvement in your putting, which obviously means a dramatic improvement in your game. There are a lot of reasons why this one is my favorite, but mainly because I saw the most benefits the quickest by using a chalk line. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you found it helpful because these practice aids have made a huge impact on my game and I think they can help yours too. If there are any other practice aids you think I should try or any videos you want to see from me, go ahead and give me a comment down below. Also, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button while you're at it, and also give me a follow over on Instagram at NatBirdGolfs. Lastly, something tells me you have a friend, family member, teammate, somebody that would love this video, so please pass it along to them. Until next time, I'm wishing you birdies and fairways and hope you have a great day. Bye. Those down, go. <laughs> That's what you? they tell me. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I don't know if it will keep letting me record.